Christian Keys. Uh, Rel, my boy over here, he's actually an actor. Um, and so this discussion, this topic, I definitely am interested to hear your take on what Christian is explaining that he experienced and just the overall what's going on with it. So Christian Keys, uh, if you're unfamiliar with him, he actually is on a few shows. Um, he's done, um, what's it called? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. He was in Medea Goes to Jail. Most recently, he was in uh, Reasonable Doubt. If you watch that series, he's the creator and he stars in All the Queen's Men. That is one of the latest series that he's in. Um, he's also in All Rise. So you've seen him. You've definitely seen him if you watched any of those I just mentioned. He's in a bunch of other things too, but those are like some of the top name movies and TV shows that he's a part of. And it was kind of shocking to see this Instagram live video he did. And it kind of was like a therapy session almost, it felt like. Like he was really just like spilling something that was like, you could tell was like weighing heavy on him and, and bothering him. And he was basically saying that someone who's like high powered and like um, in the industry, who he is accusing of sexual assault and um, sexual abuse and harassment, sexual harassment. And he mentioned that this person like propositioned him with like $100,000 to take his clothes off. And the person said like, I don't want to touch you. Like, I just want to see you. And he mentioned another instance where the person like tried to get in the bed with them, would try to get in the bed with him. And another instance where the person tried to grab his and it's like, yikes. And to put it like, shortly, he was put in a bunch of compromising positions, uh, Christian Keys was. And, you know, the internet is going to do what the internet is going to do. So a lot of people are like, the internet is already detectives and they always trying to figure out like who someone's talking about. So if you are on the internet, you know who the people are like, gearing towards i'm seeing like names thrown out there and i don't know we don't know who he's talking about christian didn't say who he's talking about but the one person in particular that a lot of people are saying i'm hoping it's not i'm just say that um because of what this person has done for like the 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 community and just the the culture um just the the things they have done no one is doing it on that um that level and the future that could come out of the things that this person has done um it would be tragic to see that tarnished and so i i hope it's not this person um for that reason but you never know with people, uh, we don't know these people. We only see them like online and stuff. We see what they show us. So it would be super tragic. It would be super unfortunate <laughs> if it's this person. If you're online, you see who a lot of people are pointing to when they trying to dissect based on Christian's live, who he's referring to. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Rel, you, you are an, an actor. You've watched Christian's live and him being propositioned to like take his clothes off and um getting his shit grabbed and all that how, how, what did you think about it how do you feel about this yeah well well i did watch christian's live and first i, I have to say uh my heart goes out to christian uh i i'm not as big as christian in terms of you know my my acting you know he has appeared in um, numerous amounts of television and or movies. And so his his IMDb is, is stacked right now. So, you know, I'm yes. trying to get there. 
So um, my heart goes out to him for even having to um, endure, like, you know, as he said, for this long of time. And you mentioned that, yeah, this is something that's been weighing on him for a long time. So to have to even carry this burden for so long um, has to be something that I would never want to wish upon anyone. Secondly, we we hear about these things happening to mostly women, right, all the time. And you hear things about like the casting couch and you hear these stories about what you got to do to get to the top. And, you know, and that these there are men propositioning women um, in these instances. But you rarely hear of men that are being also propositioned and, you know, sought after and, you know, abused and people in powerful places using that power to essentially get what they want. And um, holding this thing over this individual's head who they know is, um, you know, quite to them, inferior to them. Right. And I just think that for a person to do that is so disheartening for a person to um, to say, hey, oh, yeah, there's a there's a price. Everyone has a price. Right. And um, I can use this money that I have to get what I want because I know you have a price. And, and he said, like, I've told this individual that, you know, I'm not like that. I don't, you know, I don't go that way. Um, you know, I'm a heterosexual male. Um, I don't, there's nothing against, you know, that community. I have friends in that community. Um, we respect each other. And I just think that people should just respect people's um, place in life. Boundaries, um, yeah boundaries you know that are set like respect each other let let's let's just overall respect one another but my, yeah my heart goes out to christian uh and i i hope he uh gets some peace out of this whatever i'm pretty sure you know divulging this information is hard in itself right because right. we all look to us as men as being these strong men right um that but men endure things too we go through things too so i think it's um as you said it was like a therapy session for him yeah to get that out to release that i'm sure has to be um kind of freeing and liberating for him to to be able to do but also hard at the same time because you know he's going against somebody that's more powerful than him so and he's mentioned several times like well who are they going to believe? Who are the people going to believe, right? right. You're going to have people who's going to stand by this individual who's power, more powerful than him and, and say, hey, no, he's just trying to get money. They're trying to do just as um, another case that has just happened, right? Um, where a young lady came forward about another powerful individual. And so, yeah, he, he he's going to be looked at in a certain light. And so, but my heart goes out to him. I, I just wish he didn't have to go through that. I wish no one um has, has to endure that or go through that yeah right um i appreciate you saying what you said particularly about um you the men you don't really hear a lot of men come forward and say these things and we hear stories all the time about the industry about what goes on behind closed doors and things like that and people use the term like selling your soul and all of this and like um so to actually hear a man come come forward in this way is definitely um something that i feel may even give other men who were put in these positions the courage to speak up about what they've gone through um you mentioned also the person he mentioned the person being like more powerful than him at one point in his video he mentioned like he was like i have three thousand dollars in my pocket this person's a billionaire like what who who they gonna believe? Like a lot of people feel like no one's gonna believe them for because because of this person's um power. And um he also mentioned that aside from it, it seemed like in his video he was focusing on one particular person, and you could tell it was like eating him up, like to not say this person's name. Like he really wanted to, and he was saying, like, his brother is telling him like you know, not right now or whatever, but he was really focusing on one person, but he also mentioned other directors that he's worked yes. with where he said like, he'll read for something and they'll be like, oh, hey, all right, you read for this script. Like, you want to come up to my apartment? And he's like, nah, right. like I, I done read for you. You got my reel. Like, we, what do I need to go up to your apartment for? So I, I well, can imagine that happens like a lot. 
like a lot. I'm sure. I'm sure because here's the thing, you know, you 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 are you are you're a man, right? And you're wanting this part. Like every actor that I know is, you know, I know we use this term lightly, a struggling actor, a struggling artist. Or, mm -hmm. But it's real. The struggle is real, like because you, you're following your passion and yet there are some things that people are, you know proposition to do right because you're in a particular uh, situation in life or place in life and you're trying to get somewhere else so it's like and these people know this these directors know this these producers know this um you know so hey what do i do you know do i and i like what he said in the video he said i wanted to be able to walk away and carry my integrity with me right Right. So meaning I, I want to still be able to look at myself in the mirror and not say I've either so, you know, we use this term lightly too, selling our souls, that I sold my soul or I did something that went against my own conscience, right? Or my own morals or my own values, right? Just so that I can get to this particular position in life. How is that going to make me feel at the end of the day? Yeah, I may have reached this pinnacle in life, but how do I feel even that I've arrived there that I had to do the things that I had to do in order to get there? Right. I respected him so much for all of that, you know, to, to be able to say, hey, no, nah, I'm not doing a Yeah, I may want this part really, really bad, but yo, I'm not going up to your apartment. Like, you know, you have my audition. You 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 know what I bring. You know my skill set. Right. You know, cast me off of that. If you can't cast me off of that, then I'm good. It's, it's so, facts. And it, it definitely speaks to his, his character. No pun. It speaks to his character of who he is as a person to not take the bait and not like just do it just because I, I could really use this money just do it um and just standing on his 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 morals his beliefs and just really standing firm on that like it's you know a lot of people probably wouldn't have been able to be um that strong and 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 standing and in, in that um but to think that that's this been happening like so many years is like is wow um um he he and it's also not just about this uh these men who's been propositioning to him he, he also spoke about a, a woman on the set of a uh movie or TV, tv show he was doing and he said they were about to do a scene and she was walking by him and she grabbed his shit too and he's like yo like what you doing like stopped her and like was on some like if i were to do this to you i would be canceled i would be like ruined like so yes. it just shows that he's just a man of like he's he's just a professional he's just here to do his job he he probably has a girlfriend a wife or children or whatever and he just wants to go to work do his job go back home to his family he don't want to be sexually harassed like when trying to do his job and then no matter who you are men women whatever like don't touch me like what are you doing so yeah that's a violation like you're violating yeah. me yeah whether it's it's coming from a man or a woman it's still a violation and like right. you said if he were if that were the reverse if he were to do that to a woman immediately you know that sexual harassment that sexual right. assault he would be canceled, he would be blackballed, you know, he would be brought up in, within the Me Too movement as an abuser. And so, you know, the, he he has the same right as a man um, to not be violated by anyone, man or woman. Right. Yeah. Um, another thing he mentioned in this video is that this person, he said he got them on, um, on video. I mean, not video, on audio recordings. Recorder. He said he had like a uh, pen recordings, like, various things because when it first happened he said he from that point on he started recording every conversation so he says he has this person on audio admitting to having other men on payroll on six figure payrolls to just yeah. come over whenever he wants and do whatever he wants and i was like when i first thought about this i'm like i would think you got to be like down bad to like um pay somebody this amount of money to, to have them do X, Y, Z, or just to see them naked, you would think being such a powerful person, a billionaire, what have you, you could get anybody you want. Like, um, but I guess they they want what 
this person wants what they probably wouldn't generally be able to have and well, whether they're well, straight yeah. you know he wants the straight straight men i guess and this is the way i'm gonna be able to get them by by paying them this amount of money but just the thought that you got several well, people on a six figure a year payroll is well it's not about to me it's not about down what it is is about power right when you have the amount of money that you have the essentially the what you have is limitless power right you can do and buy anything that you want so it's like hey um yeah you know i'm i'm not one of these individuals that's out right so nobody knows my business so i can employ six you know different men uh you know pay them a salary or whatever have you and then they're at my disposal right mm -hmm. but as a rich powerful individual i should be able to have anything that i want right and so this particular individual is something that i want and i know if every these other six that i got on the payroll have a, a price then you should have a price too and so i'm going to be persistent i'm going to weigh you down because eventually you're going to come around you're going to come around yeah um i um you, you mentioned that when we spoke about this um yesterday like some people feel like everybody has a price like and i'm gonna find that price like one way or another i'm gonna find that price whatever it, whatever it takes but <sighs> it's just it's, it's wow it's wow um but i don't know i feel like not for nothing if you're gonna pay me a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> touch me you just want to see me show me the money i ain't gonna nah, hold you show nah. me the show me the money make sure you sell it first <laughs> and we're gonna have some disclaimers here like you're not gonna come near me you're not gonna touch nah. me you're not gonna um like uh try to make me do more after sell that first <laughs> you just want to see me yeah, like no no this man yeah, said nah. i just want to see you i just want to we'll see, see you like i don't i don't want to touch you i just want to see you <laughs> well <laughs> here's the thing though i hear i feel like if i take that 100 grand right you just want to see me it is not going to stop there right and even right, let's right. say i take that 100 grand you sell me first i take the 100 grand i get naked Who's to say I'm already naked? I don't right, have clothes right, right. on. Now you can make whatever advances you want to make toward me. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm definitely in a position where I can't really say that I wasn't willing or wanting this to happen, right? Because now he has something to say. Oh, well, he got naked. You know right. what I'm saying? He got naked for me. So even if I wanted to like bring up charges or whatever have you, they're gonna look at me side eye like, well, why did you get naked? Like if you didn't, you weren't with this man, like, or you weren't interested in men, you're straight, yeah. you're not interested in men. Why would you get naked for another man? No, nah, you're not, you're not, you're not finna, you're not finna cross me up like that. And secondly, a hundred grand ain't enough. Cause if I don't mess with men <laughs> and you want to see me naked, then you got to pay me and you got the money to pay me. I'm talking, I need, I need a meal. Cause if if these oh, other dudes you got on the uh, payroll is six figures or whatever have you, then you need to you need to sell me a meal. Give me a meal. Then a I meal. may consider getting naked for you. I mean, without you touching me. Say everybody has a price. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seven figures is Rel's price. Nah, I'm just saying. Um, nah, but that, it's just it's crazy. Like we um we joking, but it's like that's just like it's unfortunate. Um uh but yeah so this is not gonna be the last time we we speak about this because let christian tell it in this live video he said you're gonna have a discussion soon we're gonna talk about this more soon um he's gonna i guess proceed because this is eating him up inside he wants to reveal it out he said y'all gonna be mad at me i'm gonna be the villain after this though said and done because y'all like y'all look up to this person and Listen, my mother used to say, <laughs> whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. It's no matter how long it takes, right? You can only cover up things for so, so long and then it gets revealed. I yeah. think that people feel like they could do whatever. It can go, they can go unscathed. It can go unrecognized. 
Um, but eventually it comes out and it just has to be revealed. That's just the way that the universe works. And it's, it's unfortunate, but it has to happen. And uh, Christian is correct. You know, we're going to have to talk about it. Well, we're talking about it right now, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to say is, and we probably could uh, end with this as far as this um, Christian goes, but whoever he's talking about, is shaking in their boots right now. They're like panicking. I could imagine they probably sitting in the, the big old house and just like panicking, crying, like, nah, on the phone with every attorney, like, yo. Cause we don't know who he's talking about, but that person knows. Oh yeah, definitely. Are. That person knows. Yeah. And to definitely. find out now that this that Christian has audio recordings of you, and Christian said their voice is so distinctive that as soon as you hear it, you're gonna know. That's what he so said. They they are imagine they are going do it right now. They are panicking right now, and it's like overall. Let this be a lesson, though, to any powerful man, any powerful woman, who's propositioning, who got people on the payroll right now. <laughs> y'all might want to like, um, and 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 they probably thinking like the NDA thing is like enough. And like Christian said in his video, the NDA don't count if it turns to a crime and I got to like turn this into like authorities or even Correct. if you subpoenaed in court, we spoke about that a few weeks ago, the NDAs don't count for that. So yeah, I might not be able to tell Rel that you just offered me a hundred thousand, but if the cops come or, you know, the FBI, whoever spilling the beans. I got, I got proof that you shows proof. that you did it's proposition like, me and uh, yeah. Yeah, but again, um, they my heart goes out. My heart goes out to all anyone who's um, had to endure like this situation. Yeah. yeah, and that's another thing too. I appreciate you saying that too when you said it earlier about Christian because people look at men all the time as like being like so strong and um, even with Christian saying this, you don't see that many comments about him and how he's doing and um, it's all about finding out who it was or not really taking it that serious Christian's feelings. And you could tell that this is like hurting him, like eating him yeah. inside to have held this in for all of these years. And I'm sure there are thousands of other Christian keys out there that had similar yo, experiences. So, yo, this dude was in tears. Like yeah. I, you know, he had tears in his eyes, like coming. So it, it's definitely one of those heart wrenching things. You're like, dang, I was like, dang, like I really, I feel for you because you know at one point you 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 start to group everybody together in a sense i don't i typically uh i see people i listen to them you know listening is key right i listen just intensely to what they're saying um how they're saying it and i allow my spirit to discern whether you know it's coming from a truthful place or not and so and mm -hmm. listening to him i'm like this man is is hurt like this is coming from a truthful place and then we're so judgmental as a society like when it comes to men, we're supposed to have this vibrato, right? That, you know, always tough. And, you know, any any sign of uh, what society considers to be a weakness, you're, now you're a soft man, you know what I'm saying? And so I just feel like if we could just be a better people all together and a better community and understanding that we're all human, that we all have emotions, uh, just because I'm a man doesn't mean I don't cry. Just because I'm a man doesn't mean I don't get sad you know, let's have a better understanding of humanity as a whole. Um, right. And then, you know, we could better understand what we endure and how we're able to cope and or handle what we have went through and gone through. We all have a story, both men and women, you know, in our lives. And I, I just, I just pray we just, we just get better at understanding one another. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Christian, just the uh, last note, he mentioned that um, when speaking of who this person is, that this person is a, um, a hero to the community and he doesn't want to ruin that either. Like he knows the impact. Um, but at the end of the day, when once this comes out, if it comes out in the way that it's seeming like it's leading up to come out, it's going to be it's going to be big, especially if it's who a lot of people are thinking it is like, yeah. I would big be in that it's yeah yeah like it, it's it's going to be hurtful for a lot i'll be like 
Like you seen my reactions last night. I was like, I really hope it's not this person just because like, who's doing it like this person? Like, like what they've done and what they're just getting started technically. Like, and what could grow and it's just like. Yeah, cause they've, they've done a lot. Like you said, for the culture, for the people. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope it's, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I don't know how soon this is going to come out, but it's going to come out soon. I'm guessing. So stay tuned. We'll talk about this more when more comes out <laughs> and it's actually revealed who he's talking about. And we hear that uh, audio, those audio recordings and all of that. 